Hi, this is Manos Brilakis, and this is case 122 for the Manual of Percutaneous Coronary Interventions. This is a case of acute myocardial infarction after mitral valve replacement. The patient underwent mitral and aortic valve replacement and three days later developed chest discomfort. The EKG demonstrated a depression of the STs in lead V2, V3, T-wave inversion in the lateral precordial leads, maybe some ST segment elevation in the inferior leads, and ST segment depression in the lateral leads. He underwent emergency coronary angiography that demonstrated a severe lesion in the circumflex, in the proximal circumflex, in close proximity to the mitral valve, which was a 33 millimeter magna ease bioprosthesis. These are different views, showing once again the proximity of the sutures of the valve with the circumflex and suggesting that it is because of an interaction with the valve that the circumflex had a lesion. The patient did have a preoperative angiogram that did not show any significant coronary artery disease, so this was a brand new lesion. And another view showing the same proximity of the mitral valve sutures with the circumflex coronary artery. There are case reports of this happening in the literature. This is one from the Texas Heart Institute that suggests that the risk of causing injury of the circumflex when the mitral valve replace, is replaced is higher if there is a left dominant system because the circumflex then lies closer to the mitral valve annulus and closer to the anterior and the posterior mitral commissure. In contrast, this is less common in patients who have right dominant circulation where the circumflex is actually a little further away from the uh, anterior commissure. The patient underwent uh, PCI with drug eluting stem placement in the proximal circumflex that provided a nice final result with T3 uh, flow and the patient had an uneventful recovery. So in summary, mitral valve replacement also, mitral valve annuloplasty and mitral valve repair in some cases can cause coronary stenosis or occlusion of the circumflex coronary artery. This can sometimes be challenging, especially if it happens immediately, because the patient is sedated or under anesthesia and may not have necessarily chest discomfort. But if it occurs, percutaneous coronary interventions can provide a solution for such lesions. Thank you.